Gonna be checking out another Playmates Ben 10 release. This is Accelerate. As you can see, Accelerate does come with his fair share of accessories. It looks like he comes with some smoke. And he comes with a couple of pylons, three to be exact. Luckily, Accelerate doesn't require that little smoke base in order for him to stand. He stands actually on his own. Taking the tape measure, uh, we know that the figure stands at a very small three inches. Now, keeping in mind, that's three inches because the figure technically is crouched down and the legs are bent. So that's why the figure is only three inches in height. But yes, like I said, the figure does technically stand. It does have the means to stand at the very least. So in case you don't want to necessarily have it displayed on top of this, you don't have to. Uh, as for the base itself, it's a rather neat looking kind of, again, puff of smoke as it's zipping its way through. There's a couple of pegs on the top there. Flipping it around, it has four wheels, two on the top, two on the bottom. It does make for a little bit of a rattling base, but that's okay. The smoke is not quite clear. In fact, it almost has, well, a smoky kind of off coloring to it. Uh, the figure, if you flip it upside down, has two peg holes on the undersides of its feet, so you simply can just plug it in. There's one, and plug the second one in, like so. Immediately, I thought that the gimmick, or if there was a gimmick, that you would pull back, accelerate, and it would fly forward. And you know what? I'm actually pleased to say that's not the case. It just has rolling wheels. So, you know, you can move it around. It does make for a little slightly top-heavy figure, so when you do push it around, sometimes the figure may fall forward. But at the very least, it doesn't have a pullback option, so I do like that. And I especially like the fact that you can take the figure off the base. You don't necessarily need to keep it on the base, so I do like that as well. I'll take the figure off, and we'll put the base right over there. Uh, like I said, it does stand, but... It's a little tricky. You really almost have to have it really low in order for it to uh, to actually stand on its own. If you bring the legs slightly up, it does make the figure a little top heavy because, because the head sticks so far forward. Before we have a look at Accelerate, we'll have a look at some of the other accessories. It comes with three pylons. The pylons are identical to one another. There's also the opening on the bottom as pylons will go. You technically could put one on its head if you wanted to be silly about it, but uh, it does come with three pylons, just some fun little added play value that you can get from that. Okay, so we'll move those out of the way. Just to give you a size comparison as well, the figure that we just recently had a look at, if hopefully you watched that video, uh, we had Ben. So we'll bring, bring Ben in, give you guys a size comparison. Maybe as we have a look at these figures, I'll bring in kind of defaulted Ben, just so you guys can see how big, say, for example, uh, Accelerate here is next to Ben Tennyson. Oh, and also, for good measures, we'll bring in Grey Matter, so you can see how, how much bigger. Uh, again, keeping in mind, the figure, if you brought the legs further up, would be a little closer to Ben's head, but again, the figure would not stand unless you used this stand here. Okay, so we'll put those, move those to the side. Love the coloring here on Accelerate. Kind of what I could best describe as a pastel, almost turquoise blue, sort of. Uh, the primary color is majority black, but the blue pops exceptionally well here on the entire body. Uh, the blue only is, of course, on the sleeves, the lower legs, striped on the legs, striped on the tail, and the torso area here. Once again, commending Playmates, really, on their paint application. Very clean. Don't seem to have any issues whatsoever at all. The mouth, maybe, maybe, we'll retract that slightly. There's a little bit of black, black from the lower part of its lip, carried over a little bit onto the teeth. Other than that, not too, too bad. They could have also, too, painted it just so that the teeth weren't visible, but uh, they opted just to put a little bit of teeth in there as well. The eyes back to, uh, on top of the blue really do pop. Again, you've got that black outlining happening that really does make the figure stand out considerably. Uh, the figure is also very poseable. Let's talk about that for a second. Head rotates all the way around, a hinge up and down. 
you've got the hinge happening on the arms here, a rotation all the way around. Uh, you do have a technically, not quite a hinge, but it rotates at the forearm, and then you can also rotate at the hand. No waist articulation, however, you do can move the legs out. You can rotate them back and forth, technically all the way around. Gets a little stuck there. Um, you can't rotate the feet. The feet and basically all this part here is just soft, the soft plastic. Uh, also, the tail, you can rotate. It's hinged right at the top there, where you can rotate the tail all the way around. Um, I have to say, so far, Ninja Turtle figures, when it comes to Playmates toys, Ninja Turtles tend to be super articulated, but then maybe like the secondary characters, like the uh, the Tier B characters, tend not to have as much posability happening for them. I find actually the rather opposite when it comes to Ben 10 releases. Not only was Ben super posable, but also all the other characters in the show also, uh, as case in point here with our Accelerate, are also quite articulated as well. Accelerate is actually one of my favorite characters from Ben 10, so it was fittingly perfect that I had to look at Accelerate as a second figure from the new Ben 10 releases. Both Accelerate and Ben Tennyson are currently available in most retail and toy stores, so if you're interested in picking these up for yourself, I really am impressed so far with this toy line. To be fair, I was impressed with the toy line before when we had to look at a few of the Ben 10 releases, but now that they're hitting more of the store shelves, definitely wanted to pick them up and give them a review. Today we were having a look at the Playmates Toys Ben 10. This was Accelerate, which was uh, XLR8. Accelerate. Uh, if you guys want to check out some more Ben 10 figure reviews on this channel, I'm going to have a playlist called Ben 10 Reviews. You can have a look at every single thing that I've ever reviewed Ben 10 related. And it's not to say that we're finished having a look at Ben 10 figure releases. We're going to have a look at a whole ton more, so stay tuned for those videos. In the meantime, if you want to hit that little subscribe button down below so you'll never miss a beat when future videos come onto this channel. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.